hallelujah praise master jesus glory to god hallelujah i hope you all can hear me live and clear the lord bless you all thank you for connecting to the grand finale of our seven night of divine visitation now let me say this to you god has always loved to visit man god has always wanted to visit man it is the wish of God to visit man. So I believe God is going to be visiting everyone that is connected tonight. God is going to be visited tonight and I will not be alone. Um, Dr. Abraham Moses will be joining me also. And there is something I love to say quickly before I go ahead. God has an agenda for humanity. And there are people, there are a set of people God is looking for. The devil has an agenda in this end time. So God also has an agenda now for this end time. And there are so many people God depended on, but some of them that have begun to fail him. So God is on his, uh, is on a, is on a fresh touch, such, I mean, for an end time army. And this end time army are people that are going to go back to the status quo of how the apostles began. I've never seen the apostles as men and women that are motivators. They were men and women of power, God's word, and signs following them. The Lord began to say to me he said there are people that 2023 you will not hear about them they will turn to businessmen and businesswomen you know why they've motivated people enough they've motivated enough because god expected them to depend on prayer Luke, as is it is it Luke 18 or John 8? Luke 18, I believe, it talks about Luke 18, verse 1. It talks about he said, Men always ought to pray. Men always ought to pray. I think it asks, is Luke 18, verse 1, if I'm correct. Luke 18, verse 1. He said, Men always ought to pray. So God, when God talks about men, is not talking about gender. God sees us as saying. Hallelujah. He said, man always ought to pray. Man always ought to pray. All right, that's it. I got it. Luke 8, 18 verse 1. Luke 18 verse 1. And the Bible said, and he spake, and he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to what? Pray and not to faint. Men always ought to pray. So God is looking for a praying generation right now. God is depending on a praying generation, not a prophetic generation. Because the Bible said, he said, God, God talking now to the, to the children, uh, uh, um, the apostles talking to themselves, and even Jesus saying to talking to them, through the spirit of God, he said in, uh, in the book of Acts of the Apostle, chapter 6, verse 4. Acts 6, verse 4. Acts 6, verse 4. Let's see what the King James Version says, and we'll read from the NIV translation. Acts chapter 6, verse 4. The Bible said, But we but we will give ourselves continually to prayer not to motivational talks hallelujah so a lot of us today we are going back to the days of his power of his day the days of his power the bible says in the days of his power he said my the people shall be willing so the willingness of the people can be seen through prayer 
the Lord was saying to me yesterday, he said, it will get to a point, somebody like your daughter or your son at their age, when you tell them Jesus is good, if you can't provide them biscuits, they will ask you, where is your Jesus? That's the generation we are going into now. So God is saying, there's a generation that his signs shall follow them. He said, the Bible said, the kingdom of God is not in words. Not in enticing words, but in the demonstration of power. And this power can be gotten in the place of prayer. In the place of prayer. God was opening my eyes. He says, son, people don't pray anymore. People don't pray anymore. It's the defense to weak. Let's see what the NIV says. NIV says, and will and will give our attention. I like this one. He said, we'll give our attention to prayer. Our attention to prayer. God is saying, he's raising people. He's raising an army that will give attention to prayer. One thing about war room, we don't just come here and confess. We warfess. Did you get that? We don't come here to confess prayer. We warfess the prayer. We warfess it. We don't only confess. We don't claim prayers. We 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 pray them. We pray them to pass. We pray our testimony to pass. We pray our answer to pass. We I don't believe on God will do it. God has done it. God has done it. God will do it. Is a motivated talk. Hallelujah. So God is saying. He said, there's a generation where only prayer can change things. Listen to me. I love, I love it. I love the word. What God cannot do does not exist. I love that word. But hear me. What even you cannot do does not exist. Because some of us, we have just left it to God. Sorry, we have just leave it to God, I mean to say. We we'll just leave it to God. Forget it. The Bible says, walk your own, your own, your own salvation with fear and trembling. Your own. God will not work it for you. What your prayer cannot change does not exist. Stop leaving everything to God. So God said, I should make this clear on call that let the appetite of prayer be restored back. He said, we shall give our attention to prayer. Not just to prayer. He said, the ministry of the world. The ministry of the world. So that is the dimension God is moving this time. Any church that does not like prayer, I'm sorry, this end time. They will be so afflicted, challenged. Why? Because they have started replacing prayer with certain things. Instead of prayer, now we have players. Instead of prayer, we have players. Instead of making eternity to bring people the call of eternity, but now it's the call of entertainment. God is looking for a church. God is looking for a people. When we talk about the church, we're not talking about the, the edifice. We're not talking about the, 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 the building. We are talking about ourselves. Is how we build my church and the gate of hell shall not be prepared. When you get to that point, you have prayed to an extent, you now become a church, a mobile moving church. Not the monument we have today, yeah? not the big building, not the might massive uh, 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 builders, not that. Hallelujah. Somebody type it, I will give myself to prayer. Listen, that's what the Lord said, I should say to us. He said, I am looking, I am on a search. I'm recruiting a, a generation where people will just want to born in the place of prayer, where people want to spend time in the place of prayer, where people want to grow in the place of prayer, when people just call the man of God, man of God, I, I did not call you for prayer points, but can you just agree with me in tongues for the next 20 minutes? You you are just charging yourself in the place of prayer. He said, we shall give ourselves continually to prayer. He said, we will give attention to prayer. Somebody said, oh Lord, I am a listen to me, prophecy is sweet, but I tell you, 
you can become a prophet yourself. When prayer is important, I will give myself to prayer. I will give myself to prayer. I will give myself to prayer. One thing I have come to know that prayer is the strongest force on earth. He that can talk to God can talk to any man. He that can talk to God can change any law. He that can talk to God can, can talk to his situation. But today, we live in a world where voices have taken over the people. Uh, where voices have taken over people. Uh, where, where, where the spirit of discernment uh, has been kept in the wardrobe. Uh, and the spirit of the mindset. Uh, or oh, mindset. Uh, or oh, I perceive. Uh, I perceive. Where is that part that the apostles left? Where is that part? Where is that part? The part of competition is what we have taken. The Lord is going to help us. I say the Lord is going to help us. I said the Almighty God is going to help us. I said the Almighty God is going to help us. Prayer is a key, not the key. Prayer is a key, not the key. I tell you tonight, it's going to be brutal. Because one thing I know, he said, we shall give ourselves continually to prayer and the word. That is why one thing about war room, we don't just stop prayer point without a point from the scripture. It's the scripture that points us to the prayer. It's the scripture that points us to the prayer. So if you are not a man or woman that likes prayer, then please excuse us. Because tonight... I, I, I love the crowd. I love the numbers. But I prefer to see people that are ready to pray. That are ready to pray. They are ready to, to kneel on until they see things change. Where are the men? Where are the women that want the garment of prayer this night? Blasting tongues wherever you are watching me from. Rakata, 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 Rakata,
There are people that will carry the garment of prayer out of this broadcast. There are people that literally, their tongues will not stop moving because it's saying the days of his power if the people shall be willing if the people shall be willing there is a there is a there is a there is a garment of prayer that will come on people tonight i tell people i said if you think you have prayed you can never say i'm tired of prayer you can't get tired of prayer because when you have entered the gear of prayer the more you pray the more you want to pray the people that have never prayed are the one that said, I have prayed and prayed and prayed. I'm tired. You can't get tired in the place of prayer. Because the more you pray, the more it takes, it draws you. It draws you into that place. It draws you, it draws you, it draws you. There are some of you after now, it will look like a scene if you don't pray an hour in a day. It will look like a scene after now. God was speaking to me. He said, son, he said, gear up in the place of prayer. Begin to endow yourself with prayer. Listen to me. There is no how you carry the garment of prayer and arrows can penetrate you are because every time you become a volcano you just keep praying at every second you just keep praying at every time your mind is not is not is not idol there is no how if you are praying you can sleep you can't sleep if you are genuinely praying everything in your body begin to respond to prayer there are some of you today there is certain time you wake up at night it's like there's an alarm in the rest of the spirit but when you wake up it's not for you to go into the place of prayer that waking up is to drive you into the place of prayer. But today, my generation, all they begin to do is to hold their phone. Oh my God, many of us have been victims. But after now, make up your mind to make up your mind and make to make your life. If you make up your mind, you will make up your life. There are some of us today, we wake up with problems. We wake up with, with challenges because we have refused to arrange it. Yeah, make child of God, uh, as you are saying good night, uh, there are people saying good morning, uh, as you are sleeping, uh, there are people waking up, uh, when you are sleeping, uh, there are people awake, uh, what are they doing? Uh, they are changing things, uh, what are they doing? Uh, they are arresting the environment, uh, what are they doing? Uh, they are changing figures, uh, what are they doing? Uh, they are changing destinies, uh, what are they doing? Uh, they are changing the stars of children, uh, that is why People just see that children wake up uh, and begin to get sick. Uh, it is because uh, you have refused to change certain things. Uh, I make up my mind uh, that nothing around me dies. Uh, I make up my mind uh, nothing around me will be weak anymore. Uh, I, 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 I made up my mind uh, that I will be a man. Uh, I will be a woman uh, of prayer. Somebody say, oh Lord, make me a man of prayer. Somebody say, oh Lord, make me a woman of prayer you get to a point in your life all you want to do is to have to the this in the place of prayer you will not be looking for counselors anymore you will not be looking for pastors anymore lord open my ears when i pray the reason why a lot of us are tired when we pray is because we don't hear anything but after tonight your ears shall be open he said this sign shall follow them uh, that believe uh, I made a bold statement an offensive statement yesterday uh, I say if a sign uh, is not in the church uh, people will go and look for where there's a sign yes sir if there is no sign in your broadcast people will look for where there's signs I'm telling the truth People are looking for signs. The reason why people go from mountain to mountain for change from man of God to man of God, what, what are they looking for? A sign. Until they see the sign, they stay. There are many of you now, there are certain signs you saw. That's why you are still with me. If not, you'd have left. Lord, this situation must change as I pray. Not when they pray for me. Lord, use me. I am Do you know what I your head now? He said, the Lord said, I can use them to do miracles. Listen to me. If God cannot use you to heal your child, if God cannot use you 
to bless your children. If God cannot use you to bless your husband, if God cannot use you to bless your wife, he cannot use you to bless others. This is this is this is raw truth. Tonight, I, I don't think we are going to preach. We are going to pray down anything, stop your manifestation. We are going to pray tonight. Please, if you want to pray, today is Friday. Let's do our own club here. Let's do our own prayer here. We will pray until you feel you are prayed. Oh, I can see Dr. Abraham Moses already. is coming up already. Listen to me tonight. We will pray until you see something change. We will pray until it changes. We are not saying let us pray until maybe God will do it. No, we will pray until we see it change. We will pray until we see something move. We will pray until we, we, we feel that there is that something just happened to me. That's how I want us to pray tonight. Everybody share this broadcast. Share this broadcast. Everybody make sure you share at least 10 times. At least 10 times. Please start sharing now. Tonight is going to be brutal. It's going to be brutal. Locally, Cabrata. Hallelujah. I told us yesterday we are going to be dealing with the third voice that is fighting our manifestation. For you to manifest, you must pray. You must be a man and woman of prayer. If you don't like prayer, you cannot manifest. The Bible says even Jesus started with prayer. As there's a song like that. Jesus started with prayer and ended up in prayer. Prayer is the master key. Prayer is a key. Prayer is the... So who do you look like? Who do you look like? Tonight, I'm not preaching. I want to pray scriptures. Listen to me. Get your Bible, get your paper. Get your Bible, get your paper. I don't know if Dr. Abraham Moses is going to preach, but for me, the Lord said prayer. Pray until you see what you are looking for. There's a family I'm trusting God now. Before this broadcast ends, I want to hear the cry of the baby. The woman is in a favor ward, so I believe she's one of us. She's in the favor ward right now. I believe God will take the glory while we are praying. Because that baby must manifest. Oh, power can change the cause. Kalagadia, Zubegadia, Makaba. Everybody share. I just saw we have 61 shares already. Everybody share. Call somebody. Call somebody. Call somebody you are not seeing now. Call them. Call them. Because we pray until we see a change. Not pray until something happens. No, you are still thinking something happened. No. Pray until that miracle you are waiting for happen. Pray until that child come out. Pray until that child is healed. Pray. There's nothing prayer cannot do. There's nothing prayer cannot change. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Thank you, my father. Mosa Kataba. I don't know why I'm hearing this song. I wish everybody knows this song. Kosagbara. To da biti Jesu. Kosagbara. To da biti Baba. Kosagbara. To da biti Jesu. Agbara. Agbara. Agbara to Jwagbara lo. Kosoruka. To da biti Jesu. Kosa Ruka to da biti baba. Kosa Ruka to da biti Jesu. Oruka, Oruka, Oruka to Joru Kala. Listen to me. He said there is no power. Kosa Bara 
There's no power that looks like that is as the power of God. There's no power as the power of Jesus. So tonight you are going to be joining me tonight. Oh, thank you, Dr. Abraham Moses. I don't know if he's preaching tonight, but for me, I'm not preaching because I want to pray until I see that change, that expected change manifest. Until I see the expected change manifest. Listen, change is not wished for. Change is forced. You force change to happen. You force it to happen. Because normally things don't want to manifest. You force the manifestation. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Thank you, my father. Allah rules to Lagbara. Oshubare mare You see, man of God, tonight there's going to be a host of movements of angels. Hallelujah. Michael will be present, Raphael will be present. Michael and Raphael will be active in this meeting. I come in the name of the Lord. Can I have this scripture? Man of God, God bless you, sir. Thank you for having you here. What a good way to end this broadcast together with you, sir. Mm. Thank you, my father. Ayala Gadiba. Second Samuel 23, verse 2. Second Samuel 23, verse 2. Can I pick you up, sir? All right. I like seeing your face on the screen, sir. It gives me, it gives me confidence that we are ready to finish certain things tonight. Oh, God bless you, my lovely mommy. Mommy, Mary Gagari. God bless you, Auntie UK. God bless you, everybody. My doctor, Abraham Moses, you are loved, sir. Auntie Florence, Ikpeme. God bless you. All right, the Bible says, the spirit of the Lord spake by me. And his words was in my tongue. Man of God, when I saw this scripture, I said, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. He said, the spirit of the Lord speak by me. That sounds like pride. That sounds like arrogance. He said, the spirit of the Lord speak by me, and his word was in my tongue. Tonight, we are going to use the weapon of the tongue. Man of God, the Lord said to me, he says, son, I use the weapon of the tongue in creation. He said, today, the reason why people are waiting for me is because they don't know how to activate their godship. In the witchcraft world, they take advantage of the weapon of the tongue. Then we open their mouth and say, This child will not leave. Then we open their mouth and say, This child will bring tears to you. Then we open their mouth and say, This child will be this and that. Then we open their tongue and begin to, to turn a child that is born normal to be a deformed child. It was the weapon of the tongue. But the Lord said, Is that the spirit of the Lord? By me, he said, and his word was in my tongue. His word was in my tongue. Listen to me. Whatever you say tonight, you will see. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Lufele manke do barakotia, li pana so baraka, le para, le para, le para, ruke kuya ne meka baya, le para kapela barata, rope katia, me kope ya ta li sataya. I dispatch angels to the hospital now. Li kope li arabe kaya bokara meka, baby comfort. Borante karima na mashada. He said, He said, The Spirit of the Lord speak by me. And His word was in my tongue. In, in, in. Somebody said, The word of God is in my tongue. Hey, somebody tell me, said, The word of God is in my tongue. The word of God is in my tongue. When the word of God is in your tongue, then that is when thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. I came to make a decree. I don't know if Dr. Abraham Moses want to preach, but I did not come to preach. I mean, I came to prophesy and pray. I came to prophesy until I'm tired tonight. The grace of God is upon me because he has touched my tongue and my tongue is like the pen of a red writer i came to prophesy anything you don't like her use your tongue to change it now anything you don't like her i touch your tongue in the realms of the spirit anything you don't like use the weapon of the tongue to change it change your diama cover open your mouth and pray i change it i change it it shall not come to cs Baja Kobayata, be Rakatagana, 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 Rapa Kapaya, in the name of Jesus. Hear me, everybody. The man you should never fight is a man who's God's hand is upon his life. And is a man that knows his office in the place of prayer. There are people going to mountains and they amount to nothing. A man can be in the corner groaning 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 because right from the days of John the Baptist hey, even to now even to now the kingdom of God suffers violence with Jesus Joe I don't know if I can introduce him man of God is our, is our own here you know him Dr. Abraham Moses, God bless you, Sasa. Over to you. Because tonight we are going to be giving hot hearts. If you want to preach, fine, but me, I'm not preaching. But just help me to have small time to pray. I just need to pray. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, man of God. Thank you, viewers, for watching. It shall be well with you all. The Bible says the end of a matter is better than the beginning thereof. And it says, though your beginning is small, your latter end shall greatly increase. In Job 42, the Bible says, and the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. When God created everything, the Bible says, he created everything and then he sees this, and the seventh day, he rested. There is something about seven. The wall of Jericho, they marched around the wall of Jericho seven times. And at the seventh time, the world fell down, fell flat. Tonight, God is going to cause something to happen in your life that will make you to manifest. Elijah, when the rain could not fall, after he said, by my word, there will be no rain for three and a half years. He now sent the servant. He said, go to the river sea and check. The guy went the first time, nothing happened. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth time, nothing happened. And the Bible says, at the seventh time when he went, he said, I saw something like the arm, the finger of God. Tonight, the hand of God will cause manifestation 
in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Job, he shall deliver you in six trumpets, but at the seventh, no evil shall be for you. And the word of God says, no evil shall be for you, and no plague shall come to your dwelling. There is something about seven. I began to ask myself, how come that the room of prayer, every month they have seven nights, seven nights, seven days make one week. There is something about seven. Seven is the significant number in the life of man. I don't want to talk much about that, but I want to go straight to what we are here for tonight. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, take control tonight. Put your word in my mouth and in the mouth of your servant. Let us not say of our own. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Please just go ahead and share this broadcast. God bless every one of you in the name of Jesus. Man of God, tonight we will be dealing more on voices. There is something about voice. When you call me on phone, I know your voice. Likewise, if I call you, you know that I am the one speaking. I used to have one of my friends, he's belong with Saul. I now call the guy, I change my voice. While I was talking, the guy said, Bishop, don't go too far. I know you are the one. Because he is used to my voice. There is something about voice. There are two types of voice. We have the positive and the negative voices. You hear me? Those people you see on the top of the bridge, they will park their car and they will jump into the sea. They have the voice. Those people you see committing suicide, they have a voice. And Robert, that you see today, there was a voice that they had. But tonight you will not hear negative voice. I can imagine David. David too had a voice. Everybody swear running away from Goliath. But he keep hearing the voice that this guy he will fall. This guy must fall. Which voice are you hearing? Which voice are you hearing? The one of God said in John 1:23. They were asking John. They said, Who are you? Are you the are you the prophet? He said, No. Are you the Messiah? He said, no. Are you the, a king, the Christ? He said, no. Then they said, who are you? In John 1, 23, he says, he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, I said, by the prophet Isaiah. If I am talking about voice, most of you, you hear negative voice. There is somebody watching me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There is somebody watching me. You keep hearing the voice that you are going to die. The best thing I'm talking of is watching now. You keep hearing this negative voice that you will die. You will die. You will die. Tonight, in the name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I am seeing this person that is watching now. You keep hearing the voice that you are going to die. Yeah, you are going to die. You keep seeing that body in the dream. You keep seeing those that have died for long in the dream. Tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every negative voice, speaking negative words to you, speaking death to you today, I cast that voice in the name of Jesus Christ. I cast that voice in the name of Jesus Christ. Every voice speaking negative word in your life. Every word, every voice telling you that you cannot make it. Every voice telling you to go and commit suicide. Every voice telling you to go and commit adoption. Every negative voice tonight, I silence them in the name of Jesus Christ. I silence those negative voice in the name of Jesus Christ. Voice that we cause you not to rise. Hear me? Hear me? I began to ask, how can somebody have a mansion? You have good cars, good job, and all of a sudden you just take took your life. They had a voice. They had a voice. They had a voice. No voices we are speaking to them. They were hearing voices. The Bible says that God has not given up the spirit of fear. Whatever is putting fear in you tonight in the name of Jesus, I cause it from the road. I cause it from the road. I cause it from the road. I liberate you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, hear me, hear me. Every negative voice that you have been hearing today, I put a stop to it. 
The Bible says, all thou enemy, destruction has come to a perpetual end. Hear me, which voice are you hearing? Which voice? Which voice are you hearing? There are two types of voices. The voice of God, which is the positive voice, and the voice of the devil. That is the negative voice. Voice. It depends on the one you want to hear. It depends on the one you want to hear. Tonight, I have come to address the issue of voices. Every negative voice is that. The Bible says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise up against me shall be condemned. And he said, this is the heritage of the servant of the Lord and the righteousness of me. See the Lord. I keep hearing there is somebody watching me. You keep seeing dead body in your dream. And come to keep telling you, you are going to die. The same thing keeps telling you, you are going to die. A voice keeps telling you, you are going to die. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, I cause that voice from the root. I speak into your life. I speak life into you. You will live and not to die. You will live to declare the glory of God. Hear me? It takes life to be alive. It takes life to be alive. That's why Jesus said in John 10, 10 the thief cometh not to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But I am calm. I am calm with a voice. I am calm that they may have life and have it more abundantly. Tonight, I speak life into whatever is dead in your life. Every katona kabadia, leko praskoteria, ende getu kabasia, whatever seems dead in your life, I speak life to the eyes. I speak life to the eyes. I speak life to your marriage. I speak life to your finances. I speak life, life to, your, to your job. I speak life to your doctrine. Everything that concerns him. I speak life to the eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive life on every side. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God keeps talking about life. You will hear Jesus talking about life. In John 11, he says, he says oh my God, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. I am the, that is the voice you need to keep hearing. I am the resurrection of the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead. He says, though he were dead, yes, shall he live. And in John 11, when he came to Martha, Martha said, Jesus, if you have been here, my brother would not have died. And Jesus said, the resurrection is here. He said, in Martha, God, Jesus said, I know he will resurrect on the last day. Jesus said, no. That is not what I'm talking about. The resurrection itself is here. The I am is here. And he has come to give you a life. I want to speak into your life. A katona kopadia. Whatever that has been dead in your life. Let life come to it. Let life come to it. Let life come back to it. Let life come to your business. I speak to a woman. There's a woman watching me. They said the baby in your womb is dead. Tonight, put your womb. Put your hand in your womb. I speak life into that baby in the womb. Oh, yeah, come back to life. Oh, yeah, come to life. That baby in the womb come to life. Everything that seems dead in your life. I speak life to life. In the name of Jesus, Christ, I speak life into you. Whatever that seems in your life, I speak life. I speak life. I speak life in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you type this time? I receive life. Type this. I receive life. I receive life. Type it on the comment section. I receive life in the name of Jesus Christ. Life is coming back to you. Life is coming back to your marriage. Life is coming back to your marriage, to your finances, to your document. Life is coming back in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says to him that is joy to all living, there is hope. A living dog is better than a dead lion. Hear me? Jesus wants you to be alive. Every negative voice that you are hearing today, I cast that negative voice from the roots in the name of Jesus Christ. In John chapter 10, in John chapter 10, 25, 26 and 27, the Bible says, For ye believe not, because ye are not my sheep. And said, and I said unto you, 
John chapter 10, verse 26 and 27. I'm going to quote it, John chapter 10, verse 26 and 27. It says, But ye believe not, because ye are not my sheep. As I said unto you, verse 27 of John 10, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Hear me? Which voice are you hearing? Does God know your voice? Anytime you wake up in the morning, does God know your voice? When you wake up in the morning, holy, worship God. Holy, holy, Lord God Almighty. And in the morning, my soul shall rise to thee. Oh, holy, 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 merciful and mighty. God in three persons, blessed Trinity. I pray in God. Oh, we see, I pray. Oh, it's a God. Mm -hmm. Yes, we see, I pray. I pray. I pray. Hey. Is a God. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, worship Him. Is a God. Sing with me. I pray, I pray, Is a God. Oh, we sing. I pray, I pray, I pray. Is a God. Hear me. When you wake up in the morning, which voice do you want to hear? My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. Don't let a day go by. When the greatest gift you can get is the gift of life. Anytime I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Anytime I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hear me. The story was told about a young man. The Bible called him the prodigal son. The Bible called the boy, the young guy, a prodigal son in Luke chapter 15. He was living well. He came from a wealthy family. His father was the richest man in their community. The man has servant. He has male servant, female servant. He has sheep. He has gold, everything. One day, this boy just said he wanted to be on his own. He said, Father, give me my own portion. And the father was looking at him. Is it like I'm punishing you? Why do you want to leave? He said, No. I am of age. I want to leave. The father pleaded for the prodigal son to stay. The prodigal son was hearing negative voices. And he said, Father, give me my own portion. Hear me. Every voice that you are hearing, I want to cause the strut on your life. Today, I cause that voice in the name of Jesus. I uproot those voices in the name of Jesus. There is somebody watching me. You want to take a step. And you know within yourself that that step will lead you to do. And you still want to proceed today in the name of Jesus. Every voice that I've been hearing that wants to make you to go the negative way, I reverse those thoughts and I kill those voices in the name of Jesus Christ. And the prodigal tongues told the father, I want to be on my own. The father said, No, 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 no. <laughs> There's an adage in Nigeria that says, Dog, when not they hear what? Now, in the follow their body. Fly, when they hear what? Now they follow their body enter the grave. That means they fly that we not listen, we follow their body to the grave. The dogs that want to miss road, we not listen to the voice of the, the wizard of the altar. Some people have decided to go the way we way. Those of you people that are doing rituals, doing yahoo yahoo, they are hearing voice, they want to make the money by all means. They don't want to walk. They want to make people cry. You rank on them at Badile Putaye. They want to make people cry and then we will be rejoicing. You hear me? Such money cannot last. The devil does not give you things and leave it like that. If you give you one, he will collect thousands from you. 
You are not smart than the devil. You think you are smart? <laughs> if we entice you with everything, he came to entice Jesus. If you bow down before me, I will give you the word, the riches of this word, everything I will give to you. Jesus said, it is written. One of the ways to overcome negative voices is by hearing the word of God. The Bible says in Romans, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. The opposite of faith is fear. And fear comes by hearing and hearing the word of the devil. Let me make you laugh, people of God. Years ago, it's going to about three decades now. Yes, over 30 years. I was just coming up in faith. I was coming up in faith. And every time I want to pray, I'll be praying. But when I was, I was praying in fear. I was praying quite all right, but I was praying in fear. Those days, I went out to pray. I never knew that the witches are they are the lowest hierarchy. But I was, I was praying and I was afraid of them. I will never want to pray. Father, every spirit of, instead of those days, witches and wizards. I would say, Father, every spirit of WW, I would not shout it. Instead of me to say, every spirit of witches and wizards, I cast you. I tell up a prayer at midnight. Every spirit of, I will, not, I will not call my voice. Every spirit of WW. I have been doing this thing for a while. One day, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I was hearing a voice, ah, don't call that name. When I pray, Father, Jesus, every spirit of, instead of the devil, every spirit of Jesus and wizard, I bind you. I will say, every spirit of, I will not be left alive. W, W, I bind you. And my sister was looking at me one night, midnight. Why I was praying the prayer? <laughs> he said to me, come in. What do you think you are doing? I never knew she was listening to me. Oh, wow, wow. Glory to God. The baby of one member is out already. The baby has manifested. Thank you, Jesus. And give him the glory. Great he has done to God. May the glory. Great him he has done so loving the water he gave us, gave us his son. We there is life a atonement for sin and open the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, let her head hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Who oh come to the Father, to Jesus, the Son, and give God the glory. Great is he has done. Wow. This is good news. I could remember before I came up you. And Pastor was saying the person is in the labor room, favor room, and is going to manifest. It was not up to 10 minutes or so. And to the glory of God, another baby has been added to the room of prayer ministry. To God alone with the glory. Congratulations to our family. It is well with them in the name of Jesus Christ. Wow, wow, hear me. Get ready because it is your turn to manifest. It is your turn to testify. It is your turn to share your testimony. It is your turn to be congratulated. It is your turn for a total turn around. The Bible says, When the Lord turned again, the captivity of God, we were like them that dream. Marco just keep sharing this broadcast because you will manifest the endless expectation of the preacher waiting for the manifestation. What you have been waiting for has come to pass. That shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Stop hearing negative voices. 
I was praying then. Every bit of WW, instead of saying which is and which is I will not want my voice. Every bit of WW. And my sister said, What do you mean? He said, She said, What is the meaning of WW? I said, I Don't shout, don't shout. This is me. This is me. I don't shout. He said, Shut up. He said, You're praying in fear. He said, What is WW? I said, Which is and which she loved that night. He said, listen to me. She now started opening the scripture. He said, this is what the Lord is. He said, you are higher than them. He said, Jesus said, I have given you authority to trade upon seven and scorpion and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall my enemies unto you. Why are you afraid of that? Since then, my mentality changed. I was hearing negative voice that if I want to pray, I must not say, which is that we are just WWE. But God changed my mentality. Every power that has limited me today, I put an end to those power. Every limitation in your life, every voice that has caused you to limit, you hear me? There are places you are supposed to go, but a voice keeps telling you not to go and it's limiting you. There are some things you are supposed to do, there are some giant steps you are supposed to take, but that voice keeps telling you don't do it. Oh my God. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. It says, And your ear shall hear a word behind me, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When you turn to the right arm, and when you turn to the left. Let me go back to the to that. Let me read that scripture again. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. And thy ear shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When you turn to the right arm, and when you turn to the left. That is the voice of God. And you shall hear a voice behind you, and you shall hear a word, and you shall hear a voice. Which voice are you hearing? Every negative voice, speaking negative words to your heart today, I destroy those voices in the name of Jesus Christ. And the prodigal son came to the father. He said, Give me my portion. The father said, For what? He said, I want to go. The Bible says, He now collected everything. The father gave him his portion. The father was not dead, but he has collected his own way from his father. Well, that is the same thing with most of us. We are not patient. We want to get this in our way. His father gave him his portion. And he went to a far country. He started, the Bible says he was living a righteous life. He was living a wasted life, going to Allah, sleeping with Allah, going to club, bring some smoking, drinking, and all those stuff. And after the, he finished spending the money, his eyes opened. The Bible says about Adam and Eve, God told them not to eat the fruits. And the Bible says when they eat the fruit, they were, then they were, they were higher, and they were both naked. And their, their eyes opened. They were naked and they were not ashamed. And when God came to them, God said, Adam, where are thou? He said, I am naked. And God told them, Who told you that you are naked? Have you eaten of the fruits? And he put the blame on the woman. He said, The woman you gave me, gave me to eat. One of the things that sins does is that sins brings loopholes in your life. When you commit sin, you create a loophole in your life. You create an hollow for the devil to enter. Lizard cannot enter a wall until when the wall is, the wall is cracked. A lizard cannot penetrate into a wall until when the wall is, is cracked. That is the same thing with most of you. Righteousness is not a nation, but sin is a reproach to every nation. One of the things that will make you not to manifest is sin. If you can do away with sin, you will manifest. If you can do away with sin, you will hear voice, the right voice. The Bible says, how possible are right words? How possible are right words? How do you get the right words? The right words in the word of God is in the word of God. The entrance of the word of God is what gives light. And understanding unto the simple. Every negative voice shall be hearing. I call Tonight in the name of Jesus. I command that negative voice to die. Let that negative voice die. Let the negative voice be hearing. Let the negative voice die. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak life into your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. When the when the when the 
when the prodigal son has not finished eating everything, the Bible says he came back to his senses. In Luke chapter 15, verse 17, he said, and, I said, and when he came to himself, he said, How many higher servants of my father have enough, have bread enough to eat and spare? And I perish with hunger. Somebody, you are coming back to your senses. You are coming back to your senses. You are coming back to your senses. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are coming back to this, your senses. From tonight, you begin to hear the voice of God. You begin to hear the voice of God. The Bible says, if you hear his word, harden not your heart. Lastly, there is Psalm 29. Before I hand over to the man of God, that we begin to pray. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Psalm number 29. Psalm 29. I'll be reading everything about the voice of God. The voice of God. Listen, please open your Bible. Psalm 29. Marocco Prescott Deliver. Marocco Prescott Deliver. Psalm 29. The testimony. Did somebody say what is the testimony? The testimony, the good news is that one of the members of the Roman prayer ministry just delivered a baby tonight. And this is the night, seventh night, the grand finale. What a way to wrap it up. Grand finale, grand finale. And they deliver a bouncing baby. Man of God, is it a boy or a girl? I will ever feel species. The baby is always male and female created them. I say congratulations to those family. It is well with you. Hear me. I don't know what you are trusting God for. You are next in line to testify. You are next in line to testify. I speak into your life because it's your time to manifest. It you are next in line to testify. Your testimony, your testimony shall bring shame to the kingdom of the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see people gather to rejoice with you. Your testimony is the next. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's go to Psalm 27. Psalm 29. I am reading everything. Miracle press Kenya. Psalm 29. I am reading everything. I do not give hand over to the man of God. It says, Give unto the Lord all ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Masu. Give unto the Lord glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Three. The voice of the Lord is upon the water. The voice, the God of glory, thundered. The Lord is upon many waters. That's all. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedar. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedar of Lebanon. Verse 6 on Psalm 29. He maketh them also to skip like a cow. Lebanon and Sion like a young unicorn. Seven, the voice of the Lord divided the flame of fire. The voice of the Lord shaken the wilderness. The voice of the Lord shaken the wilderness of Kadesh. Verse 9, the voice of the Lord maketh the hind to come and discovereth the forest and the temple to everyone speak of his glory. Verse 10, the Lord seated upon the floor. Yea, the Lord seated, seated king forever. Verse 11, the Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. I speak into your life as you hear the word voice of God. The peace of God that passes all understanding rests upon your life of today. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything you have been trusting God for, I decree that shall come to manifestation. The Bible says we are like our Father God that covered those things that you are not as though they were, and they come to manifestation. Everything that you are trusting God for, you will get it. God told Abraham as far as he can see. I will give it to you. As far as you can see, what can you see? He told Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. He says, Jeremiah, what seest thou? For you to manifest, you must have a vision. Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Where do you see yourself in the next six months? That, that is the way to manifest. Where do you see yourself in the next two days? You cannot be greater than your thoughts. The Bible says, as he thinks in his heart, so he is. To be a millionaire, think like a millionaire. 
You cannot be greater than your thought. If you want to manifest, change your thought. Christian chapter 4 says, What is so ever true? Christian chapter 4 says, What is so ever true? What is so ever loving? What is so ever just? What is so ever of good report? If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on this thing. Hear me? The problem with most people these days is that they don't think. If you can think, you can talk. There's a social media they call TikTok. TikTok. That means think before you talk. TikTok. Think before you talk. Most people don't think, they just talk. And that's why they have problem. You need to think what is the way forward. I have been in this problem. How do I come out of this? It is not your fault that you fall into the temptation. But it will be your fault if you don't do something to rise up and come out of it. The Bible says, rise up from where you are falling. Rise up from where you are falling. It is not your fault that you are born into that poor family. But it will be your fault if poverty remains in that family. Hear me? Problems start in one day and problems end in one the day. Today, an end has come to every problem in your life. An end has come to every problem in your family. An end has come to every problem in your marriage. Every problem in your finances. An end has come to it. Any problem in your document. An end has come to it. Today, in the name of Jesus, I decree an end has come to every challenge. Every obstacle in your life. I put an end to it. Every obstacle is turning to a miracle. In the name of Jesus, sir, you are going higher. You are going forward. You are pressing higher. You cannot be limited. In the name of Jesus, no more shame for you. Everything has caused limitation in your life. Today, I put an end to it. In the name of Jesus, you are going from strength to strength. The Bible says they go from strength to strength. Every one of them is Zion. Just yes, I bear before God. Today, you will manifest. Tonight, you will manifest. Hear me. Tonight, the angel of God will appear to you in your dream. And those things that you have been dreaming, just think of by the breaking of the day. I speak as God's son. By the breaking of the day, the testimony shall enter into your hand. Open your hand. Open your hand. Like a there. I don't know what you are trusting God. By the breaking of the day, you will manifest. You will manifest. That car key, you will get it. That money, you will get it. That job, you will get it. That contract, you will get it. Everything you are believing God. I should decree to that. I pass a decree. The Bible says, I shall decree a thing, and it shall be established, and the light shall shine in my mouth. Let everything you are trusting God for, let them begin to come to your hand in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, the chain has been broken. The Bible says, Our soul is escaped as a bear from the fowler. It says, The smell is broken and we escape. <laughs> Our soul is escaped as a bear from the fowler. The snare is broken and we escape. Tonight, I decree total freedom for you. Wherever they have caged you, you are escaping out. You are coming out. You are coming out. What has the living God to do in the land of the dead? You are coming out of the land of death. You are coming out of darkness. You are coming out of shame. You are coming out of barrenness. You are coming out of black. You are coming out of poverty. You are coming out of every sector in the name of Jesus. Jesus told us, Lazarus, Lazarus, Come forth. I speak into your life. In the name of Jesus, you are coming out of that shame. You are coming out of that problem. You will not die in that problem. You will come out with your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, they were came in by the blood of the Lamb. Because of their testimony. You hear me? Which voice are you hearing? Which voice are you hearing? Every voice, every negative voice is I've been speaking defeat, I've been speaking shame, and I've been speaking setback in your life. Today, I put an end to those voices. From today, you begin to hear the voice of God. From today, you begin to hear the voice of God. You begin to hear the positive voice in the name of Jesus Christ. Right? Hear me? It was voice that David had concerning Goliath. Everybody we are praying. Hey, after Goliath was drinking gallon of water, he will not come. Bring your tired. I want to fight her. Imagine the brothers of David were soldiers. They will run it back. But David went to give. Hear me. Anytime your manifestation, time you want to come, want to happen. God will always cause something to happen. 
Any time your time to manifest is about to come, God will cause something to happen. And for something to happen, something must happen. For something to happen, something must happen. For you to manifest, something must happen before you can manifest. And David went to give food to his brother. When he went there, he now heard them, he now had Goliath bragging, make him out. Bring your warrior. And he was hearing what they were saying. They said, anyone that we kill this uncircumcised Philistine, the family will no longer pay tax in the land. The family will be free. They become a like government worker. They, they, and the first daughter will be given to the, to the family. When the, that was the voice that David had, eh? they wanted to stop him. The Bible says he went further. His brother said, We know your pride. Who do you left? Do you, who do you leave? Do you left those sheep. Who, who? They tried to stop him. Hear me. Any power that I want to stop you tonight, I stop those power in the name of Jesus. They tried to stop him. He went to another person. He said, What did the king say? We went to the family and they told him. And he said to himself, I can kill this man. For every giant, there is a giant killer. For every giant, there is a giant killer. Everything that is standing in your life today, the giant killer, the Jesus of Nazareth, we kill that giant in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the same way the one of Jericho fell down. In the mighty name of Jesus, every problem in your life, they go down from today. In the name of Jesus, it was voice that David had that made him to kill Goliath. Which voice are you hearing? Which voice are you hearing the negative voice? Change your mentality. As you think it in his heart, so he is to God alone be the glory. I release you from that bondage. I break that chain, that embargo in your life. You are going forward in the name of Jesus Christ. I will take this song that we hand about to the man of God. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. My faith on heaven take land. All I have been, la la la, da da, yeah, ba. Lord plants my feet on a yeah, ground. From today, begin to move forward. From today, begin to manifest. In the name of Jesus Christ, God is changing your story. Go and manifest. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Over to you, man of God. God bless you. Thank you so much, Dr. Moses. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you for that word. He said we shall give ourselves to prayer and the word of God. Hallelujah. Somebody said, oh, Lord, don't pass me by tonight. Someone say, oh Lord, don't pass me by tonight. Type it in the comment section. Lord, don't pass my family by. Don't pass me by. Don't pass me by. Somebody type it, Lord, don't pass me by. Lord, don't pass me by. Want you to type in the comment section, Lord, don't pass me by. Oh Lord, don't pass me by. Lord, don't pass me by. Le so fili brada bala bada bada Holy. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord, you cry, oh, holy, 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 holy. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord. You carry me when some carry their 
God, you feed me, Lord, when some feed the God, you open fight for me. When some fight for the God, Jesus, you know they use me play. Na 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 na. You know they use me play. Na na na. Na na na, you know they use me play you. Easy, 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 na chim do. Easy. Listen to me. Someone say every satanic voice, every satanic voice fighting against my manifestation. As I pray tonight, let that voice expire. Let that voice expire. Type it and begin to pray it. Every satanic voice fighting against my manifestation. My manifestation, oh Lord, let that voice expire. Somebody open your mouth and thunder in prayer. Somebody type, I must manifest. 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 Somebody say, in the name of Jesus, every power fighting the manifestation of my miracle, as I begin to pray, expire by fire. Expire by fire. Expire by fire. Open your mouth and turn into prayer. Ropakosha brata, iya da da da, ropoko payata, balabeko sobraka, de tota, de tota, de tota, de tota, de tota, ye pola balata, le poko balagata, lo perata, lo perata, le parata, le parata, le parata, le copayata. So I say in the name of Jesus, every voice challenging my manifestation. As I begin to pray now, expire by fire, expire by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Ria balada balada balaka bayata. Ropo kosha bra. Yeta taba. Yeta taba. Rapaka balaka. Lepo to bayata. Epa le bayata. Every voice challenging my manifestation. As I clap my hand and pray, expire, expire, expire. Espaya, ya pato bayata, para pato taba, deba, deba, do poca palepa, ye para bacoba, ya da da pato baya, le poro baca, ye pele bracaya, e ne pocoba, ya pasia, y copaya, se paya, in the name of Jesus. So I say, every familiar voice manipulating my manifestation. Expire by fire. Can I tell that again? Every familiar voice 
manipulating my manifestation as I begin to pray now. Expire by fire by thunder. Open your mouth and do prayer. Ropa kopa laka ye peleta talata de toleta da leta de leta barakata i paragata i paragata i paragata i paragata i paragata barada rogati bolado i laba laba lada laba 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 lada laba laba lada laba laba lada laba laba lada laba laki rogata la. Come da 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 the manifestation of negative things in my life. As I clap my hand, expire. There are people today, the only thing manifesting in their life is negative things. Negative things. From January to now, negative things. No week passes. They don't suffer something negative. Huh? No week passes. Huh? They don't suffer something negative. Huh? But the Lord, I'm going to tell you now. Rapa kopaya. Zezi teka. Arama kopane parasa. Barabe kopa. Yeko shata. Apeya baka. Abino kosobra. Ika palakata. Ase kopaleka. Robo kopaya taka. Yetateya. Yetateya. Rope koro sakaya. Jeta data jetata. Jeta data jetata. Jeta kata bayata. Jeta pala kata baya. Rakata balaka. Rakata balaka. In Jesus' name. So I say every negative voice sponsored by my blood. Every negative voice sponsored by my blood fighting my manifestation as I pray now for that and die for that and die anyone connected to me by blood sponsoring manipulation that is stopping my manifestation for that and die sleep and don't wake up open your mouth and turn to prayer Say in the name of Jesus, every family member holding my manifestation as I pray now, what are you doing alive? For thou and die, any family member holding my manifestation, what are you doing among the living? Enter the land of the dead. Listen to me, if you are not inviting your family member, you are wicked. Listen, with all due respect, you are wicked. Listen, this is my office. My office is prayer. And see, prayer is where you see me manifest. Listen, listen, this is my office. Listen, hey. Man of God, when a family member's hand 
is on your case. Manifestation of good things will be scarce. The next prayer is, hey, listen, the grace of God is upon me and my ears are open to hear. The Lord said, let us pray. He said, there are family members firing the arrow of procrastination so that you will not have manifestation. There are some of you on the sound of my voice. You don't know why you keep changing your mind. You think it's your mind. No, somebody's firing the arrow of procrastination. I ready to pray. Say every arrow of procrastination speaking against my manifestation as I pray now. I release multiple arrows back to the sender, back to the sender, back to the sender, back to the sender. Open your mouth and your prayer. In Jesus' name. This one is serious. Man of God, this one is serious. You will join me and help me pray for me for this one. Say every tongue upon an altar. Every tongue upon an altar. Speaking against my manifestation. I give you cancer of the tongue. Somebody open your mouth and pray. Anyone on an altar. Pray evil prayers. Burning evil incense. Let God answer their prayer reverse. Let God answer their prayer reverse. Anyone making mention of my name. Anyone making mention of your name. Anyone in a covenant. Anyone on an altar. Any altar priest. Any talisman. Every pastor calling my name for evil. Let them return to Anyone calling my name, anyone that wants me to be subject to their voice, I can't tell. If God calls me, let God answer this prayer in verse. Go back and the Go Peraka. Anyone calling your name, let fire respond. Anyone calling your name, let fire. There is an only anger in me because you must manifest. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hear me. I rather lose my voice than lose my life. Yes, sir. Man of God, I rather lose my voice than lose my life to a man like me. A man like me cannot take my life. Listen. Anyone speaking disaster, Anyone speaking disaster. Into, my life. into my life. Please pray. Oh. Listen, I told us when we we're starting, get to a point when you will pray, you will see it work. This is not man of God, pray for me. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Hey, what did I say? Every tongue speaking disaster into my home, speaking disaster into my ministry, speaking disaster into my family as I pray now. Lion of Judah, arise! I kill somebody for my sake. Open your mouth and turn into prayer.
So how can they know that God called us? It's when one becomes the scapegoat. He said to Moses, you will take two goats. You will take two goats. You will lay your hand on one. You will confess all the sins of Israel. You will confess all the sins of Israel upon one goat. And you will send the other one into the wilderness. He said, that will become a scapegoat. Somebody type it, I am not a scapegoat. Not Somebody a scapegoat. type it, I'm not a scapegoat. Not hey! I'm not a scapegoat. I'm not a type it, type it. There are people today. Your family has made you a scapegoat. Your family members, all they use you for is give me, give me, give me, give me. Because they have made you a scapegoat. Rabagata Badaga. Urakwase Kataba. Where is the God that answer? Where is the God that answer Elijah? Barakwa. On this mountain of prayer, I refuse to be a scapegoat. I refuse to be a scapegoat. I refuse to be a use and dump. Amanda Makoba. There are people, sir. There are people, ma. All they do is to use them, is to use them. There are family members today. They are wondering what is happening to their finances. Somebody is using their finances. Somebody is speaking to their money. Kiko Braka. Somebody hold money, hold money, hold money, hold money. Get money and hold money. Anyone speaking to find my finances. Finances. I use this money as a point of contact. If your husband is with you, if you don't have a quarrel, tell us to pray this one. Hey, there is something that finances do. There is something that finances do. Somebody hold money, hold money, hold money, hold money. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus. Whoever I am giving my money to, genuinely, that is speaking evil into my finances. I use this money as a point of contact. In the name of Jesus, let them suffer dryness. Hey! Oh, put your mouth and turn it to prayer. Don't make a pinna gapara. Don't penna car. 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 Who want to take my money and make me try? Kasisa, eto beka penana, go paraka, do kepaya, rapagada. Hey, in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord just said to me, "There is somebody. Your wall is speaking. Your wall. At times you hear things, things." You just think that there's somebody in your room when well, there's nobody. You're going to plant every every mouth planted in my wall. Every mouth planted <laughs> in my wall. Oh, we are going to talk about eyes some other time, but now it's mouth. Say every evil mouth. Every evil mouth planted in the wall of my house. Planted in the wall of my house. As I begin to pray now. As I begin to pray Let now. the wall become dumb. Let the wall become dumb. Let the mouth in that wall become dumb. Let the mouth in that wall become dumb. If that wall, that that mouth in that wall will not give informations again. That mouth in the wall will not. Oh, pull your mouth and turn it to prayer. Ya da 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 baraga barade. Waka payata. Baraka para. Baraka para. Hey, hey, hey. In Jesus' name. Amen. That one only said to the Lord, so we should pray about this money again. Money in your hand. He said, he said, son, he said, the more they wish you to go down, the more we give you money. Amen. I don't know if somebody like me will like that prayer. Yes, sir. The more they wish you to be broke, the more God will give you money. I am me a Don't prakaya. The more they wish you to be dry, the more God will bring money to you. 
I prophesy. The more they wish you to be stranded, the more God will surround you with her past. Hey! They lift that money up. The more they wish you, the more they wish you to be stranded, the more the Lord will supply your needs. The more they wish you are broke, the more God will break new grants for you. Man of God, this thing they work. I said, this thing they work. What, what day was that? What day was that? Tuesday. On Tuesday, right? Yes, On Tuesday, I entered my prayer room, man of God. Listen to me. It's one of my secrets. I stepped on money. I said, money, wherever you are, respond to me. I need money. I need money. As I finished praying, the Holy Ghost said to me, give it to your wife. She's going to work. He said, give her that money you prayed on. She's going to work. Man of God, I started getting my own favors for left, right, and center. So it they work for me. And all of a sudden, my wife, I looked at her. I said, take this money. I have prayed on it. I said, you to stand on it and call money. As you go on this flight, somebody will give you money. And I said, the voice that makes people give people money will work for you. She said, amen. I said, but on what condition? Bring back my money. Oh my God. I said, because that one I don't pray on them. Bring it back. Why am I saying bring it back? Because I know she will bring back on that one. When you put a bait on the mouth of a hooker for a fish, do you know you will catch the fish and the bait you put inside the fish? Is that the hook? Man of God, I wisdom, I just talk so. When you put the bait, on the hook, and all of a sudden, you throw the 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 the, the, the line. Hey, Apostle Stephen Eche, you they like this kind of thing? You hear that one? Yes, sir. So as soon as God bless Apostle Eche, God bless for watching. As soon as you throw the the the, the shipping line, so, sorry, the 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 fishing line into the the water, the hook is still with the bait. So as soon as the fish come to catch the hook, it hooks the fish and your bait is still there. I said, woman of God, when she went to work, she came back. She said, a woman blessed her on flight. There is a realm where money meets you in the air. Hey! So when she came back with money, she thought, I said, bring back what they dash you. I said, no. Take what they dash you, but I took inside as the chief, as the priest, as the priest. He said, Jesus said, go and show, go and show, go and show to the priest. And do, and do. Listen, do you know why I said you hold money? Kabayala, see There's about to be an outburst. Of financial drought. There's about to be an outburst of favor. Somebody lift that money up. Yami Tofelia, so grata. GDDP, Kakoko, Bagaka. Listen, if you think I'm praying with power, now they say power, they give me money. Now they say power, put me for be bought. We don't boast on these things. If we talk, we talk in Christ. I decree the kind of money you thought this year has given to you. Watch out for the one this many three months will give to you. Amen. I said, watch out for the ones. Kakeba. Ah, Apostle Eche, get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready. 470. 470. 470 Lexus. 470. 470. Black. 470 black 470 black 470 black 470 black 470 black manana makobe yazia everyone trusting god for a new car between now and november may favor may opportunity to make money enter your life and you will buy that car what I said to you, I said to myself, Zephele Kroba, Gobalade. Listen, 
We don't prophesy to make you happy. We prophesy because we make you happen. I prophesy. Every evil voice fired at your child. Every witchcraft voice. Every witchcraft voice speaking against your child, making your child have, have all manner of, of challenges right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your child will not manifest that nonsense anymore. Amen. Hey! Go peka boka ba akina masoba. I say your baby will not manifest that nonsense again. I say no more. I say no more. That child will not cry anyhow again. The hand of God come upon that child. The hand of God come upon that child. The hand of Yeshua come upon. Let power take over that baby. Hear this. If there is witchcraft, there is Holy Ghost craft. Yes, sir. If there is witchcraft, there is Holy Ghost craft. Anyone speaking incantation, anyone making enchantment, anyone making incantation against you, I speak another kind of incantation uh, which I call the Holy Ghost. Listen, there's a child. There's a child. Oh, glory to God. It's a girl. The baby that was just born is a baby girl. It's a baby girl. This one is a Deborah. This one came to war. Hey! No konia fia. Kobe lagiano songa. And songa nana makoba. Somebody say, oh Lord. Oh Lord, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them. Say, oh Lord, scatter them. Type it as I'm saying it. There's an angel that will run through this message. Somebody, can somebody help me share five, five times? Share five times. I want this eye to get to 40. Everybody, everybody, look for where to share. Everybody start sharing. I want the eye to be 40. I want the eye to be 40. Everybody begin to share. Share five times each. Invite your brother. So I say, anyone stopping the manifestation of my firstborn? Anyone stopping the manifestation of the firstborn of my family? Anyone stopping the manifestation of the firstborn of my family? 
As I pray now, oh Lord, stop them. How would you stop them? Stop them with the spirit of death. Amen. Listen to me. Thank God. Apostle H is here. Dr. Abraham is here. I connect my, my faith to their faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Anyone conspiring against you. Against anyone under the sound of my voice. I decree, may the conspiracy kill them. Amen. May they suffer rejection from those they put their trust Amen. in. Amen. Quickly, woman of God, I need the scripture. I need the scripture quickly, quickly. Hey, anyone fighting your mother's children, they will be wasted by fire. Amen. Aya nasi grash go pena gabala gabia roko koko roko roko kro ye mesia saba oloru to lagbara o shubare mare o e e o shubare mare o where are my sharers can i see you like the like this brokers like it like it like it Gift a bozele, Olabanre, get ready. I will enter your father's house. I will, we will, we will scan, we will scan your father's house. We will scan your mother's house right now. Hold on, hold on. Epaya, Psalms 140, verse 11. Keep sharing. I want to see 45 I, 45 I. Thank God it's for 31 now. I said, somebody will bless you. Yes. Listen, a spiritual man is a madman. Yes, sir. At this junction, there, is, there are certain level of madness you will borrow from a madman. Yes, sir. Listen, anyone using their tongue to stop your children, anyone using their tongue to stop your children, in the name of Jesus, I use this tongue to stop their children. Amen. Anyone using the tongue to fight your children, I use this tongue to fight them. Psalm 140 verse 11 it says, it says, Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall haunt the violent man and over you have to say anyone, anyone, anyone that desire evil for me, let let we let wickedness hunt them down. Anyone that desire evil against me, anyone that desire evil for me, Yabakela, let evil overcome them. Let their evil overcome them. Let their evil overcome them. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 8, verse 10. I like that scripture. I like that scripture. He said, let not an evil speaker co as, as, Sorry, Isaiah 8 verse 10. Isaiah 8 verse 10. Let's see it quickly. Isaiah 8 verse 10. Can you bring it up on the screen? He said, associate yourself. Kabea. I love that scripture. There are people that God will scatter them before Sunday. There are certain people, their effort will become futurity. There are people that they, they will regret. He said, take counsel together. He said, and it shall come to naught. Speak the word, and it shall not stand. For God is with us. Two prayer points, or three, say, three prayer points on this one. I want to get other translations. Let me get other translations. Are you, are, are you being blessed at all? Are you being blessed at all? Listen to me, Apostle Steve. I did not know where motivational speakers come from. I don't know where where 
where men of God has become motivational speakers. In the days of old, his power we know. His power we know. We don't know all this motivational speaking. God will do it. Don't worry, it's turn by turn. Stop that rubbish. Stop that. Even God did not say it's turn by turn. He said, I will overturn. He said, I will overturn. I will overturn. That was a forceful voice. Uh, God's time is the best. Where did you see that in the Bible? God's time is the best. Where? 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 Where do you see that in the Bible? Where? Let's see what the Amplified Version says. Amplified says, he said, take cancer together against Judah. Who is Judah? Praise. Sir, there are people that are angry you are happy. There are people that are angry that this is working for you. They are saying, is it only him? Is it only her? You are a witch. Hello, if you don't know, you are a witch. If you are angry with somebody's progress, you are a Aze Mians. Aze Maye. Which other one again? Anyone? You are going to pray. He said, take them against take cancer together against Judah. He said, but it shall come to not speak the word, it shall not stand, for God is with us, Emmanuel. <laughs> I like that one. Now let's see what uh, Message Bible says. Sir, I love Message Bible. It says, plan and plot all you want. Plan and plot all you want. I think I need to bring this translation. Akaba. It's a plan. It's a plan. It's a plan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, It's a plan. It's a plan all you want. It's a plan all you want. He does not he, he or she does not care. It's a plan all you want. If you like plan evil, it's a plan all you want. He said plan all you want. I'm trying to uh, um get it copied. All right, let me see if I can get it on the screen. The message translation. Oh, are you being blessed at all? We are going to be closing now. We are going to be closing now. Oh, La Galia. Is it plan all you want? I like that translation. Okay, yes. I got it there. Everybody see it there. Everybody see it. Everybody see it. He said, plan and plot all you want. Nothing will come out of it. Oh, my God. How many of you love the Bible? How many of you love the Bible? He said, plan. He said, plan all you want. 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 Nothing will come of it. All your talk is a mere talk. Empty words. Ay, 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 ay. It's an empty words because when all is said and done, the last word is Emmanuel. God is with us. Somebody pray this prayer with me. Say in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, whatever they say, be with me and defend me. Be with me and defend me. Anything they are saying to accuse me, anything they are plotting against me for, oh Lord, be with me and defend me. When God defends you, he must make sure he offends your enemy. Anytime God is defending his own, he's offending his enemy. Anytime God shows you mercy, he shows your enemy judgment. I pray for someone watching me. Anything they are planning against your children, anything they are planning against your husband, anything they are planning against your child, I call upon the God that answers by fire. Let their plan come to not let their plan fail. Let their plan fail. 
Why would their plan fail? Because God is with you. Anyone plotting against all you need is a word. Anyone plotting against throne of mercy. Anyone plotting against war room. In the name of Jesus. Their plan will be in vain. I said their plans 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 will be in vain. No matter how hard. Listen to me. No matter the position they occupy. They don't occupy the throne of mercy and grace. Sir. No matter who they are in this world. They are no more than Emmanuel. God is with us. I decree. God will disappoint them. Psalm 120 verse 2. Psalm 120 verse 2. Are you being blessed at all? Can we, can we close? It's almost 11. Can we close? Psalm 120. Dr. Abraham, Moses, sorry, I'm, I'm really drag, stressing you, but I know the Lord is your stressor. Psalm 120 verse 2. Psalm 120 verse 2. See, any tongue that speak against you after now. See, listen, there are people, their tongue will just begin to swallow up, will begin to swell. If you notice it before you pray, men of God, Remember today. Listen, there are men of God, please don't be too quick to say, I forgive you. Last I tell you, you are not God. Listen to what the person did first. I used to be that, that naive. Someone said, uh, Ambassador Fred, forgive me. I'll just forgive you. No, now you will tell me what you did. You will tell me what you did. You will tell me. Hallelujah. Psalm 120. Oh, Shalabadaba. No shadows you will light up. Mountains you won't climb up. Coming after me. Mm, no walls you won't kick down. Psalm 120 verse 2 says, Hmm. <laughs> Let me read the message translation. He said, Deliver me from the liars. Hello, sir. Don't forget, liars, they already have their part. They have their department in what? Air fire. So they know so that they go hell. They find will follow them go hell. He said, Deliver me from the liars. God! They smile so sweetly. Dr. Abraham Moses. They smile so sweetly, but lie through their teeth. I don't like to read this alone. I want to share. He said, they smile what? He said, they smile. He said, they smile they smile sweet. I'm trying to. I need I need us to flow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now let's sit on the screen. Everybody, let's sit on the screen. Now he said, deliver me from. The liars. They are set. They are set of people. They always come in click. They come together to lie against people. They always have meetings. He said, deliver me from liars. That means it's not saying one person. They are liars. Man of God. He said, God, they smile. That one, I did pay me. Sir, that one is paying me. They smile so sweetly, but lie through their teeth. Apostle Steve, are you seeing that? They smile, but 
they lie through their teeth. Oh God. You know, thank God for men of God now we are waking up. We are waking up. Job, Job 5.21. Job 5.21. Let's on that one. After I just said this, Dr. Abraham Moses, we just release a blessing. I know I've kept us so long, but I, I'm sure you are blessed. Are you blessed? If you are blessed, just type, I'm blessed. Hallelujah. Job 5.21. Job 5.21. Now, the Bible says, the King James Version says, said, thou shalt, said, thou shalt be healed. See, King James have very funny, funny English. From the scourge of the tongue, neither shall thou be afraid of the destruction when it comments. Comment. That means, sir, you see this tongue? When it's coming, you may not know. That's why you need to be say, Oh Lord, shield me from evil tongues. Somebody type it. Oh Lord, shield me from evil tongues. Now let's see what the message Bible says. Ah, yeah, yeah. Hey, message Bible. <laughs> message Bible said, He said, You will be protected from. Victious gossip and live fearless through any catastrophe. <laughs> NLT says that you will be safe from slander and will have no fear of destruction when it comes. <laughs> Now, this is the last scripture. How many of us have our communion? You know, every last day we take communion. If you don't have it on Sunday, we are going to have communion service. All right? I forgot to announce it yesterday. So on Sunday is a communion service. So everybody get your communion. I have my communion here already. I have my bread here already. But on Sunday, we are going to have that on Sunday. On Sunday. Hallelujah. Now, Psalm 52, verse 2. Man of God, please write this one down. Psalm 52, verse 2. Psalm 52, verse 2. Prayer is our work. Psalm 52, verse 2. Now, look at this one. When I saw this man of God, I began to laugh. He said, thy tongue devised mischief like a sharp razor walking deceitfully. Amplified. He said, your tongue devises wickedness. It's like a sharp razor walking deceit. Message translation. Is that your schemes? Is that your scheme catastrophe? Your tongue cut razor sharp. Now, is that your tongue cut razor sharp? NIV says, Your tongue pluck destruction. It is like a sharpened razor. You, you who practice deceit. NLT says, all day long, you plot destruction. All day long, you plot destruction. Your tongue cut like a sharp razor. You are an expert at telling lies. Pastor Abraham Moses, over to you. Over to you, sir. Those are powerful prayer points. God bless you, Apostle Stephen J. That's my brother from another mother. God bless you, of God. I want to appreciate all the men and women of God watching. I want to appreciate everyone of you watching. The sharing, it shall be well with you.
Hear me. Your testimony will get to your heart. By the breaking of the day, you will hear good news. The Bible says in Proverbs 25, 25, As cold water to a thirsty soul, so good news shall come from a far country. By the breaking of the day, as you go to bed tonight, by the breaking of the day, the next news you hear shall be good news. It shall be news of testimony. It shall be news of joy. You will shout for joy. I am speaking prophetically. I agree with God's servant that by the breaking of the day, in Psalm 30 verse 5, it says, weeping is for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. By the breaking of the day, I speak into your life. I speak into your finances. I speak into your mom, your family, everything that concerns you. By the breaking of the day, you will hear good news. Joy shall be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to read one or two scriptures, then I will, now, I will now wrap it up. The Bible says in Psalm 144, Psalm 144 verse 1, Psalm 144 verse 1, it says, Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teacheth my hand to walk, and my finger to fight. Psalm 144 verse 1, Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teaches my hand to walk and my finger to fight. I speak man into your life. Man of God, sorry, sir. Before you speak, before you speak, man of God, mm. please repeat that scripture so that we know why war room we fight here. We don't, we don't pamper people. You will pray. Man of God, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I like that scripture. He teach, so God is even interested in you fighting. I, I, I live up for God. Which God? God that teach you how to fight. You are living up for God. Man of God continues, sir. Thank you, sir. He said, Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teacheth my hand to walk and my finger to fight. My hand to walk. I now understand why wrestler and boxer, they use their hand to fight. It teach my hand to walk and my finger. It teach my hand to walk and my finger to fire. From today, your hand will do good thing. In the place of prayer, as you wrestle, the Lord will give you victory on every side. In the name of Jesus Christ, with this your hand, you will do good thing. With this your hand, you will build more, more, more men. With this your hand, you will carry your baby. You will carry your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Lastly, let's go to Psalm Thank you, Holy Ghost. Psalm 18. Psalm number 18. I am reading verse 33 and verse 34. Psalm 18, 33 and 34. Glory to God in the highest. Please open your Bible to Psalm 33, verse... Psalm 18, excuse me. Psalm 18, verse 33 and 34. He said, He maketh my feet like hand feet and set me upon my high places. I just talk about your hand, your 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 finger, I mean he's talking about your feet now. He says he maketh my feet Psalm 18, 13 and 34. He maketh my feet like hand feet and set me upon my hand high places. Verse 34. He teaches my hand to walk again so that a bone of sin is broken by my arm. I speak into your mind as the prophet of God. From today, your leg will take you to where there is testimony. Where there is evil, your leg will not take you there. Your feet shall be like the iron feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you enter with your feet from today, God will enter with you. God will enter with you. The Lord, your feet will not take you to where there is trouble. Your feet will not take you to where we put you in no trouble. In the name of Jesus, your hand will do good things. He says, it teaches my hand to walk and my finger to fight. In the name of Jesus, enter into your abundance. Enter into your prosperity. You begin to manifest of today. In the name of Jesus, go and exert. Go and carry your testimony. Go and manifest. In the name of of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you.
Hallelujah. The Lord said something to me while the man of God was praying. He said to me, take this prophecy very serious. Take this prophecy very serious. The Lord said to me, he said, I will restore what the tongue have scattered. Hmm. I will restore what the tongue have scattered. Somebody type amen to that prophetic word. I will restore what the tongue has scattered. That's what he said to me. In Joel chapter 2 verse 25, he said, and I will restore to you the years. Some of you, what has kept you on a spot, what has kept you on marriage is the tongue. What has kept you jobless is the tongue. So God is saying in Joel 2.25, Joel 2.25, he spoke to me and I'm, I'm saying this. Some of you, the reason why you are not married is the tongue. The tongue has made you age and nothing is changing. That's what the tongue can do. The tongue can put you on a spot for many years. The, spot, the tongue can make your mates insult you. The tongue can make an elder brother behave like a younger brother. The tongue. The tongue can make a father wish that the children were never born. And the tongue can make the, the children hate the father. The Bible said, it said, I and I will restore to you. Don't forget the first scripture we read in the book of 2 Samuel. The first scripture I read here, that God is now speaking through us. Don't forget that. So that's what is happening here. He said, I will restore. I will restore. When God says he will restore, he means he will restore. And now, listen to me. The Lord said to a man of God, he said, anything a witch takes from anyone, they don't use it. They keep it. Witches will not take your child and use, and use the child. They will take the child, either keep the child or keep the child in pain. Any child in pain because of a witch spoke. I speak against that witch tonight. May that witch sleep and not wake up. I said, may that witch sleep and not wake up. If they use a tongue to afflict your child, I use my tongue to afflict their body. I say I use my tongue to afflict their body. Marco Baya. He said, I will restore to you the years the locust has eaten. So look at it, it has eaten. That's eaten. The canker one, the canker one. He said, I have, I, and my great army has sent among you. Listen to me. I heard God. He said, I will restore what they have used their tongue to do to your body. Gift, Allah Barri, I pray for you. What they have used their tongue to do to your body, may God restore it now. I said, may God restore it now. Somebody type, God has restored it, hashtag war room. And God has restored it, hashtag war room. And God has restored it, hashtag war room. Come on, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead and say, and type it. And God has restored it. Hashtag war room. Thank you, my father. Type it, type it. And God has restored it. Hashtag war room. And God has restored it. Hashtag war room. Please don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, anybody. I'm closing now with this last scripture. Please. Hmm. Sir, these two words, God said to me, number one, I will restore what the tongue have destroyed. And number two, this is what the Lord said to me, number two, the book of Zechariah. The book of Zechariah. Thank you, my father. 
Book of Zachariah, chapter number, from verses number um, 19, okay, from this number 18 to 21. Now look at it. It's a prophetic word. It said, then I lifted up my eyes and saw, behold, four horns. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, what be these? And he answered me, these are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Verse 20. He said, and the Lord showed me four carpenters. The Lord said that's what's going to happen in people's dreams tonight. Some of you are going to be seen men of God you value in your dream tonight. Now, God said, these carpenters will come in the form of men of God's face. What are they coming to do? Verse 21. Everybody read. He said, then said I, what has this come to do? Saying, these horns which have scattered Judah, so that no one did lift up their head. Listen, when you are afflicted, you cannot lift up your head. When you are afflicted, you cannot have peace. There are women today, they cannot laugh in their husband's house because of certain challenges. But after that, that will change. Now look at it. He said, but these, home, these have come to fray them, which to fray them, to cast out the horns. Now, when God is repairing, that's what he said to me, that's the second word. Number one, he said, I will restore. Number two, he said, I will repair. He said, some of you, is going to repair your image. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, God, I like that one. He said, I'm going to restore the image of many people. There are some women today, they have spoiled you in your husband's house. God says, it's going to restore your image. It's going to repair. It's going to repair. Now, I want to see other translation because uh, uh, um, the word fray is still repair. But I want us to see what, um, what the message Bible says. Hmm. Hallelujah. I, don't, I think there's a translation I'm looking for. It said, we have come to repair. We have come to repair. Say they have come to repair. That's so there's a translation that said we have come to repair what was scattered. So the Lord said he's going to repair everything that the tongue has damaged in your marriage, everything the tongue has damaged in your relationship, everything the tongue has damaged in your business. The Lord said, I will repair them all. The Lord said he will repair them all. Don't forget, the Lord has restored me. And the Lord has repaired it. Hashtag war room. The Lord has repaired it. Hashtag war room. The Lord has repaired it. Hashtag war room. And the Lord has restored it already. Hashtag war room. I pray for everyone watching. The Lord bless you. Now, the Lord said to me, please, I don't put anyone under subjection in this. I heard the man of God. He said, from this month, from this seventh night, he said, let everyone enter into a covenant. So me, he told me how much. Every seven, every last day, he said, let people enter into a covenant with a sacrifice. Now, um, November, get a sacrifice on the last day. December, on the first week, get a sacrifice. Like today, now, I heard him say this from last month. I've been struggling to say it. But he told me, he said, this is a covenant. It should be a norm that every last day of the seven nights or the ten nights, he said, let there be an altar raised. He said, after the altar is raised, then the communion can be taken. But like, because I didn't tell us for the communion, so we are taking communion on Sunday. Please, the details is displayed. It is not a must. But if you have a revelation of this, he said, mostly these three months, 
this after this broadcast now i am doing my own every end he said let the people enter with me in the covenant be led that's i'm not telling you this amount or that amount if you like any amount you want to do but just make sure you are part of the covenant the lord will bless you man of god thank you so much i celebrate the grace of god upon your life and i don't take you for granted thank you sir for your love thank you for the love for the call of god upon my life the lord will honor you in jesus name man of god please say a word of prayer to everyone that we obey this covenant practice from this month the lord said to me these three months is very important me i'm going to do my own this night yes i know why i know what he said to me because man of god they are saying this when we hear if we start explaining people may not understand it so i just choose not to explain i've told you my own if god spoke to me about it let the evidence speak hallelujah just bless those that are Going, entering the covenant of sacrifice every last day of the program. Over to you, sir. I speak into your life. I have three S for you. One, what God has done for you, it will not scatter. Amen! Yeah. Is the first S. What you have received, the manifestation will not scatter. Amen. It is settled. Amen. For Peter 5 10. The God of all grace and has called up unto eternal glory by Christ Jesus, in that after you have suffered for a while. He make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. The third S I have for you, every of your prayer, it is sealed with the blood of Jesus. From today, you begin to manifest these three S. It will not scatter, it is settled, and it is sealed. As you go tonight, the angel of God will be on guard. And you will not be put to shame. Enter into your season and your realm of manifestation. From tonight, your manifestation has begun. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wow. Wow. Hallelujah. Now, let me say this to everybody. Um, <laughs> man of God, the Lord said, listen to what he's saying. Quickly, I had to type it. He said, number one, he said, every time they raise that seed, say, let this word you have said, let it become the monument. It will not scatter. It is settled. It is sealed. I'm telling you the truth. Man of God, you confirm this to me now. I'm okay. Hallelujah. I am going to do my own this night. The Lord has spoken to me who I to send my own to. But listen to me. Listen to me. There are instructions God gives. God has his reason why he gave it from that place. One thing I will never do is to struggle with any man when it comes to this thing called money. No, I don't do it. That's why I feel insulted when people speak to me about money. Because not all of us are in this for money. Some of us, we have what we do to get money. I pray Everyone that will be a covenant giver for these three months, in the name of Jesus, may all the prayers you have prayed since these seven days, all the amen you have said since these seven days, 
it will not scatter. I pray, may God say to you in the era you need settlement. I pray the blood of Jesus will seal it in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Father, we thank you. Thank you for how you are brothers in this last quarter father we thank you thank you for everyone that has sacrificed their time to this time the lord we honor you the lord we bless you god bless you mommy mary i can see anita eric was she the one i saw just now professor prophetess anita eric god bless you man god bless you and the sparkle god bless you Lushay, god bless you elizabeth god bless you jane Ari, my wonderful daughter god bless you god bless you so long to chuku god bless you the Florence, God bless you. And to UK, God bless you. Uh, Usman, Subeya, Jule, God bless you. Um, who again? Who again? Mary Adams, how are you? God bless you. It's like cheesy, cheesy Bridget. Cheesy, cheesy Bridget, Bridget. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I want to say God bless you to everyone that has been part of tonight's broadcast. Oh, my wonderful brother, Ima Chooks, God bless you. I decree. As the man of God has said, it is settled. I'm super excited. I'm looking forward to see you to, um, on Sunday or in the cool of the evening. Don't miss it. I'm telling you, the Lord will bless you. As be a part of it, the Lord will honor you. Okay, Elizabeth, in in that buffet, God bless you, Sima. God bless you, Elizabeth. God bless you. And Florence, you are a wonderful woman. God bless you. I want to say this to all of you. You will manifest. From this month, your manifestation is secured. Give a Bozele Olabari, my wonderful daughter. God bless you. Oh, Auntie Victoria Harry, God bless you. God bless you. How could I forget? God bless you, Victoria Harry. God bless you. In Jemanze Tama, God bless you. Yeah, in the sparkle, sister for Jamaica, God bless you. Um, who else again? All right, I think I've caught much name I've seen. Oh, Ruth Amanda, God bless you, ma. God bless you, ma. Auntie Ruth Amanda, God bless you. Mm. Who again? Oh, Auntie UK Bauer, Auntie Mitoki, I've said that. Bridget Odjono Zegbe, God bless you. My wife, Rukewe Obozuwa, you know, say God, God bless you already, my wife. Hallelujah. <laughs> And God bless everyone. Oh, Sarah Yusuf, God bless you. The Lord will give you a testimony in the name of Jesus. Speak into the life of your baby. Let your baby begin to sleep normal. And let everything you, you wish to see in the baby begin to manifest on this night. For good in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Now, Dr. Abraham Moses, thank you so much, sir. The Lord will honor you, sir. The Lord will honor you. I know I can't pay you, but God will reply you. God will reply you. You know, when God tell you thank you, it's better than when men tell you thank you. Sir, I've grown to my a point. It's not where I ministered. I expect my honor from. My honor comes from somewhere. May God send you help this Saturday. As in this Saturday, this one. Between now and 2 p.m., may God show up for you. That you preach two days, may God show up for you. The Lord bless you, sir. Thank you so much. And uh, I want to say, may God send you help from above, sir. God bless you, Apostle H.A. Stephen, if you are still there, God bless you, sir. I'm super excited having you watch today. That's how we wash each other's hands. God bless you. And God bless you, Irene Daniels. God bless you. I know you are sleeping by now. God bless you still. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet friendship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. I love you all. You know that. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your time. Looking forward to seeing you on Sunday at 9 p.m. Nigerian time for the cool of the evening. Shalom. God bless you.